Now we're going to stay with Mr. George, I think, but we're moving to the 46th board. Document number 20391, ordinance was referred on April 22nd of 2020. Uh, the uh, common address 3630 through 3636 North Lakeshore Drive, and 601 through 627 West Waveland Avenue. Change request, residential plan development number 1023, residential plan development number 1023 as amended. Mr. George. Uh, again, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, my name is John George. I'm an attorney with the Ackerman Law Firm of LLC, which is at 71 South Wacker here in Chicago. I'm appearing this morning, this afternoon, on behalf of CCA Lakeview in connection with uh, proposed uh, lakefront protection application and plan development application for this project property at 3636 North Lakeshore Drive. Again, before I get into the details, Mr. Chairman, I would ask that the, this was before the Chicago Plan Commission on July the 15th, and I would ask that the report of proceedings, the testimony and exhibits that were heard before the Plan Commission be incorporated into and be made a part of the proceedings here before you today. So move Chairman Alderman Lopez. Alderman Lopez moves to incorporate the records for, uh, from the Plan Commission by the same roll call that was used to determine quorum. Any objections to the motion? Hearing on the records are incorporated. Continued, uh, Mr. George. Uh, in addition to that request, Mr. Chairman, uh, this matter had a substitute ordinance changing the underlying zoning district to B2-5 zoning district for the proposed amendment. And I would ask that that substitute ordinance be accepted by uh, your body. So moved again, Alderman Lopez. Alderman Lopez moves to accept the substitute by the same roll call that was used to determine quorum. Any objections? Nope, the substitutes before us, as are the records of the Planning Commission. As you can see on the uh, screen, uh, the, the, it shows a, a photograph here of the subject site. The subject site is at 3636 North Lakeshore Drive and 601 to 627 West Waveland. Uh, the property is currently zoned PD 1023 and is within the public use of the Lake, Front, Lake Michigan and Chicago Lakefront Protection District. So there are two matters before you today. There's the application for the plan development and also for the application for approval under the lakefront protection ordinance. Uh, the applicant proposes to change the zoning designation from PD 1023 to PD to P2-5 neighborhood residential use district and then back to residential PD 1023 as amended. Uh, this, uh, this rendering that's up before you now uh, shows uh, the number of uh, you number of uh, it's a residential development and the residential development is comprised of two different buildings there's one 19 story building that has a height of 228.4 inches uh these are the two buildings right here in the foreground there's the one building to the on the right which is the taller building which is the 19 story building which is 228 feet tall and then there's a six story building which is the one to the left of that which is 75.6 inches in height they're connected at the base. There are 330 resident, 333 residential units. There's 145 parking spaces. And then there's a 5,000 square foot restaurant with an outdoor patio at grade. And the FAR is 4.40. Um, next slide, please. This is just a rendering showing, looking, looking south on Inner Lakeshore Drive on the sidewalk. And you can see in the foreground there, uh, the six story building and then to the south of that is, uh, is the 3600 building, which is made up of two towers, which are uh, in the th about 350 feet tall, I think, each one of those towers. The next slide, please. This again uh, shows the same, pretty much the same view, but it also then shows the existing uh, site. And it shows, you, you see those two little obelisks with a driveway, and then the rest of it is a green area and this is a piece of property that's in front of the New York uh, condominium project, which is set back, which we'll see in a minute. The next slide, please. The next slide. Oh, there. This just slides a different, some different views. Again, it shows in the foreground up in the left corner, the green area, which is where this building was, is proposed to go. Uh, there's also a view along Inner Lake Shore Drive and also along Waveland. The next street. Next slide, please. 
This slide uh, shows uh, some of the meetings that we had. This has been a project that's been going on for a minimum of two and a half years. Uh, there have been uh, countless meetings with neighborhood organizations, with the, the various buildings. We've had numerous buildings with the building to the south, the 3600 building, which we, which we then received a letter of support from. The building to the west, which is New York private condominiums, which uh, we had a number of meetings with them, made a number of concessions to them with respect to this project. That was reduced to writing and we received a letter of support from them. We had meetings with the 30, to the north with the 3700 project buildings. Uh, we also had meetings with the uh, CLVN, I mean, with the Central Lakeview Neighbors Association. We had meetings with them. And then we had meetings with the 46th Ward uh, organization, Alderman Kappelman's organization, made up of all the community organizations in the 46th Ward. Uh, I'm just trying to see. Next slide, please. This shows again a little bit better picture of the looking down at it. You see that to the up on the portion, up the top portion shows the 19 story building. The bottom shows the six story building with the green roof. In the inner, in, in the, it shows the third floor green roof. And then it also shows all the patio area, area and it also shows the space in between the two buildings, which is highly landscaped. <clears throat> the next slide, please. This again is just a, an idea of gives you the uh, landscaping for the project. This, this was um, reviewed extensively by the Chicago Department of Transportation of the city of Chicago, uh, and they've given their approval to it. Uh, you can see off of Waveland, there's that circular area, which is a drop off area for the New York apartments and also for the new building that we're putting up. Uh, next slide, please. This just shows a, <clears throat> a, a, this is a view looking west from Interlake Shore Drive. And it shows a six story building and shows uh, the landscaping that will be going in alongside of all along Interlake Shore Drive from the building um, right next to Waveland going south to the smaller building. The next slide, please. This just shows a little bit of the, uh, the, the buildings along Waveland. They've created like a townhouse development portion along Waveland Avenue so that it fits in and contextually with what's on the north side of Waveland, which is a townhouse development. And then it shows in the, to the south, the proposed new building, the 19 story building. The next slide, please. This again is just uh, the next slide, please. Wait, please go to the next slide. Okay, please, the next one after, okay. This just shows the parking spaces, the number of parking spaces. It's an underground garage area that we've created a new ramp so that we've eliminated the driveway that was along inter, uh, on Interlake Shore Drive, which was in the middle. We've now created the entrance to this through a ramp, which is on the south side of the development. The next slide, please. These are just shows, again, the residential areas and the different colors that it's in. And it shows that the restaurant will be over on the northeast corner of the project, right, of the 19-story building. The next slide, please. The next slide after that, please. Here again, this just shows uh, the, uh, the the roof area. We have a green roof on both of them. Uh, we've uh, the building that had previously been approved here was a building that was 340 feet tall. Our building is 224 feet tall. The next slide, please. This is the sustainability matrix, and it shows as all we. Plan developments require, uh, uh, we're, we're achieving 100 points under the sustainability matrix. The next one, please. And this just shows a number of the things that have been done and, uh, and uh, to accommodate issues that were raised by the community and by the, by the buildings close to us. This project will create uh, 200 construction jobs, uh, 45 new permanent jobs, $110 million in construction costs and the real estate taxes will be 1.2 to 1.4 annually in real estate taxes. We went through and uh, since this is also a lakefront protection application, there are 14 policies that you have to look at and, and be guided by and, and it was determined that we do meet those uh, policies uh, with respect to the lakefront protection ordinance. The next slide, please. Is there nothing? Again, it, meet, it indicates that we meet stormwater management uh, of the city of Chicago, all those requirements. 
the next slide, please. Yeah. This just shows that uh, we have, uh, there'll be 11 ARO units on the site and we are complying with the uh, ARO requirements. The next slide, please. These are the ones that I just talked about. So I think that, uh, I think that pretty much covers it, uh, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, we stand ready to answer any questions that any of you might have concerning the project. I know that Alderman Kappelman, uh, I'd like to thank him for all the time and effort that he put in on this uh, matter uh, over, the, over the length of period of time that this project has been uh, heard by the different community groups. Uh, but we stand ready to answer any questions that you might have, Mr. Chairman, or any members of your committee. Thank you, Mr. George. Um, Alderman Kappelman. Thank you, Chairman Tunney. Um, uh, Jack George is right. There's been countless community meetings. Uh, I've, it, it's unusually high, but uh, it was unusually high because of the adjoining properties of 3636 North Lakeshore Drive and 3600. Um, but that feedback paid off and the input from East Lakeview neighbors was also great, That's, which made it um, fairly easy when it finally came to the 46 Ward Zoning Development Committee to uh, pass it. So with that, I ask my colleagues to support this project. Thank you. All right, questions um, and comments. Um, just a comment, I'm, I'm very familiar with this project uh, and also the history of this project. Mr. George, uh, or Alderman Kappelman, when was the first tower actually completed? I believe I had, I was rather new. I remember it being built, I think around 1988. Right, Ooh. right. And at that point, there were supposed to be two twin towers. Yes. Um, that was to be developed. And it stood, uh, Obviously, that building was designed to accommodate that second tower, the way it was uh, set back and designed. Uh, but obviously, that's not what transpired here, and uh, it's a, it's a smaller smaller project. Uh, but um, <laughs> this this piece of property had been negotiated probably over thirty or forty years. Um, we're done with it. If we if we pass this, we're done with this with this parcel. So, um, it's, it's, uh, I know a lot of uh, years of, of development ideas on this really happened. So I applaud you for working with a, a lot of competing interests on this one. Um, so, any other questions or comments? Um, okay. Okay, I had a motion to move to pass on this item by the, by the same roll call that was used to determine quorum. Move to pass. Move by the one card. Alderman, I think Maria Haddon uh, moved it. Uh, any objections to her motion? Hearing none, uh, this item is passed as revised and substituted.